like this and like that and like this and uh, it's like that and like this and like that and uh, it's like this and who gives a fuck about those? So just chill to the next episode. Hi, hello, my name is Magatila. If it's your first time being here and I am about to do a paint with me, I have been wanting to do a paint with me because I have a dope ass fucking painting. I'm gonna paint, we're gonna be talking about dreams. I'm gonna start off with my first ever nightmares that I still remember to this day. I'm gonna say some weird dreams that I've had, actually reoccurring dreams that I've had and I decoded and I don't have those dreams no more. Uh, we're gonna talk about hypnosis at the end because it's similar to being in the dream state. And also, sorry if you can't, if you can't hear too much. I hope you can hear though because I got my fan going and I got tunes because I can't paint without tunes. I drew out my sketch so I can paint it. Uh, I think you can see it too well. There's the, this is a girl at night and some water. That's it. <laughs> to start off with, my first ever nightmare. I remember this like it was yesterday. I don't know, I think it was just like my first ever nightmare and it scared the shit out of me. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So, I remember this shit. My first ever nightmare was me. I was like in a ditch and like a grave or some shit. This is kindergarten me. I was like in a grave, I was in a ditch and it was really high. And there was someone else there with me, but I didn't like know who that person was. But there were there was this fucking big ass old like metal oven on the other side of the grave, and it kept inching towards us. And it was like opening its mouth and shit. Like it was a fucking oven gonna eat me. It had like fire in it, and it was so scary. I was like, why the fuck? I couldn't get out. It's a ditch. So I was like, what the fuck? Why? What's going on? Why can I? And me being the smart kid, I was like, okay, I know I'm in a dream. So if I scream in my dream, I bet I'll scream in real life and my mom can wake me up, you know? So I was like <laughs> in my dream yelling for my mom to wake me up. She never did, but I woke up eventually. So that was like a weird, very weird, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. So that was like just a weird ass dream. I haven't really had any more scary dreams since. I did have like a weird kind of scary dream a couple days ago. I was with like a group of friends. We were in the Ross parking lot and I was driving. I was driving a Jeep, right? It's dark out. Like it looked like it was like midnight. I just felt like something was coming. Like there was nothing around us. We're like the only car in the parking lot. And I was like, but I started getting like a weird feeling and I'm like, something's fucking coming. Like something's coming. Yo, I look around. I look back and I see like a big ass spider type thing. He had like weird ass legs and he was like coming for us. And he had like the head of, I'm gonna put a picture of it, but he had the head of that James Charles meme and he was chasing us. And I got in the car and one of my friends coming out from Ross, she was like running to the car. So I went to, you know, try to go get her. But what happened was that I put the car in neutral and it wasn't going fast. So it was like I was chasing her too, as well as that thing. And the passenger was like, yo, why the fuck are we going fast? Like, what was going on? And she's like, you put it in fucking neutral. And I was like, oh shit. So I put it in drive. I started going faster and I caught up to my friend. She hopped in and that thing was chasing us. And like, I was driving us away. The most weirdest dreams I've had in a minute. Like that shit was just weird. I need to put my glasses on because I'm not trying to squint and fuck up my baby. One of the like weirdest recurring dreams that I've had was me being chased and that's pretty popular. A lot of people talk about how they dream of being chased and I had that dream like every day for a week one time. I was being chased and most of the times it was people trying to kill me. The one dream that like you know made me like start researching like why the fuck am I having this recurring dream so that I can figure out the root of it and I can stop having that crazy ass dream. I was back on the reservation that I'm from. There was this girl assassin and she was assigned to kill me. Like she didn't know my look. She knew my name and every like 
all the other information, but she didn't know what I looked like. Like she didn't have a picture of me. And I met her before she even killed me. Like she didn't know that I was a person, like I was the target she was supposed to kill. And how I found out was that we were like talking and she was like telling me like what she what she was there for and shit like that. But she didn't say like the name obviously. I took a look while she wasn't looking at her like files and shit. And I saw my name. I looked at her and I just ran out the room. And she started chasing me. I was like jumping through the staircases and everything. We got outside and on my reservation there's like only houses. There's like one like event center and one like preschool but there's nothing else but just houses. And so I was running and I was hiding behind houses and she was following me like trying to find me and shit. And then all of a sudden someone like drove by and was like Yo, Matila, like, what's going on? Like, what's up? And I'm like, yo, we gotta go. Like, I'm hop I'm hopping in. Yeah, I was telling them, I was like, someone's trying to kill me. She's chasing me right now. I don't know what the fuck is going on. And, like, while I'm telling them, I was in the passenger seat. Someone else was driving. But she literally crashed into us. And she put out a shotgun, and she shot me through the window. And I felt my soul come out of my body and my dream. After I got shot, my soul came out of the, the car. Basically, like, my soul was just walking, and I was, like, really confused. <laughs> I was, like, so confused. When I woke up, I googled it, like, what does it mean when someone chases you, when someone kills you, when someone shoots you and stuff? And being chased is a sign that you are running from something. Death is just, you know, symbolic to things ending, so I put the two and two together. During the time I was doing heavy shadow work, I realized that the person that I was like identifying with, it just was no longer serving me and it was time to update myself basically. <laughs> it was time to update myself. And I guess I was like hiding from that because I wanted to hold on to like the past me and everything like that. After I figured that out and I realized, I'm like, okay, let's do this. Like to get it over with, let's just reinvent ourselves. Let's reassess our life beliefs and everything like that. That's me talking to me. I'm like, let's reassess our life beliefs, our goals, all that, and just identify as something new. And I stopped having that dream after that, so that's really good. So far, lately, I've been having dreams about me being on a school bus, me being in school, or me being back on the reservation. So, I feel like, if y'all didn't know, I've been to 16, 17 schools. I was always like the new girl, so I've always just like kept to myself. And I'm not military, so... I would have like reoccurring dreams that I'm back in school and in school I was a very like kept to myself person. It's not that I was shy, it was just that like, bruh, I'm new here, I'm in a new environment, I don't even know y'all, like so what is it to say? It's crazy because I'm having those dreams, like me being in all those different schools, I'm having those dreams as myself now though, like as me who I am now, like the way I talk, the way I dress, the way I act, and I just feel like it's my brain being like, damn, like you really could have had more fun in school, like you could have enjoyed your school years if you just were yourself or just out there like how you are now, you know? I don't want to say I'm, I feel guilty, but it's just like reminiscing like, damn, if I would have done this, is that guiltiness? Feeling guilty like I could have had a better school experience if I just was fucking being myself? And if I was just, you know, more active in school, <laughs> maybe, possibly, probably. I've literally only gotten one line done. I don't know if you can see it, but... So yeah, I've been having those dreams, and that shit's annoying because it's like, bro, I didn't like school. Why the fuck am I dreaming about being in it again? Like, that don't make no sense. There's no need for that. Can I dream about me being in a mansion or something? I'm gonna get caught up on this and I'm gonna come back to y'all. I just remembered of another story. I remembered of another dream. So, so far, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got. Hey, I'm having fun talking, so that's all that fucking matters. Cause I like to take my time when I paint, alright? I'm gonna lay down like this. I'm gonna break out of the I'm gonna break out of the So I had another dream. Another weird dream that I wanted to mention. I was dreaming that I was at a party. I was there with like some old friends. There was this other girl that used to work in the mall and I would go over there and visit and just talk and she would be working. I didn't really talk to her on the regular. She 
was in my dream and I just remember us like hanging out at that place and that was the end of it. I woke up and I was like, damn, I haven't talked to her in a while. Like, I wonder how she's doing. Literally later that night, she texted me and she was like, hey, uh, I had a dream of you last night and it was kind of a scary dream. And she was telling me about her dream and she said that we were at a party. We were at a party and we were talking and this like weird girl came in like this girl with some weird ass vibes came in i told her that i didn't like the i didn't like the energy that she was giving off i told her that i didn't like her vibe or whatever and i was like we should go and so we left and we were in a car and while we're driving down the road that girl was in the middle of the road on some like bread shit or something like i don't i don't know for her like that dream was negative for me i only remember us meeting up in that place that party the fact that we had the same dream in the same place i was like yo we must have been on the same like dream plane or something i didn't tell her though i didn't tell her that she was in my dream <laughs> That shit was wild because I was like, how many other times have you had a dream with somebody and like they tell you that they were in the same environment, they're in the same place as you. Just, like, can we go to like certain dream, dream planes and meet each other? I know astral projection is something that happens and like you can, you know, go fucking in dream places i don't know i've never really done it the only time that i've ever came close to astral projecting these are my legs right this is me laying down i literally felt my legs rising up i was in that mid part like half asleep half awake and i felt like my legs were rising like not my physical legs as soon as it was like getting to my waist i was like i'm not leaving my body like they just dropped down like that <laughs> I was like, yo, I woke up the next day. I was like, what the fuck was that? I have to talk to my spirit guides about that. They're probably trying to meet me and shit. And I was just like, nah, not tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's like the closest I've ever came to astral projection though. I've never like tried it. I would like to. I have been smoking mugwort so that I'm able to remember my dreams, you know? Let's switch topics to hypnosis now. So when I was younger, when I was a freshman in high school, I spent the night at a friend's house. There was four of us, and we played a hypno hypnosis game. It's called Red Door, Yellow Door. Bro, don't play it. <laughs> I didn't really play it. I was just observing. And we looked online, like, you know, how you, how you play it. I don't really remember. This is a long ass time ago. I'm just not, like, recalling it. But there's usually, like, they say there's a man. There's a man in, like, a hat or something. And you're not supposed to go to him like if you see him you're supposed to go the other way because supposedly he can like you can get trapped he can like take your soul something of that sort and so the reason why i didn't want to go under hypnosis was because of that i'm like i'm not trying to see that man i'm like the only black one so i was like man y'all can do that so i was just you know watching it and she was like, you know, putting her under hypnosis and asking her questions, like saying, what do you see and all that, you know? And the girl who was hypnotized, she was like walking, she was like, I see these doors. And then the girl would be like, okay, go to that door. This was going on for a while, maybe like five minutes. And she was like, I see this, I see that. But then she got my attention again. She was like, okay, what do you see? And she was like, I see a man. And right when she said that, I looked at her and then <laughs> That girl who was like, you know, telling her where to go, like instructing her, she's like, go to him. I was, uh, I told her, I was like, no, don't tell her to go to the man. Do you not remember that one rule in the video, all the videos and shit that says don't go to the man? And she's like, oh, uh, walk away. <laughs> I was like, bro, you really trying to get our friend killed? You trying to get her soul snatched? I do remember she was like describing him and shit, but automatically when she said, I see a man, I was like, yeah. Yeah. I definitely was the scary one out of the group because first off I'm black, second off I've always been sensitive to things like that, you know? Like whether it intrigues me or if I just get a feeling that like I'm not supposed to do that, I just, you know, follow that gut. So yeah, I didn't go under hypnosis. Yeah, those were the topics that I wanted to talk about during this paint with me. 
I don't know if you know, if you're new to this channel, I'm not a good multitasker, so that's why I barely got shit done, okay? I like to talk, I like to get into it. When I'm painting, I like to just listen to music and be concentrated on what I'm doing or else I'm gonna mess up the painting, you know? If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know, show your appreciation, subscribe for more videos like this. If you want to watch my last one, I will link that below for you. And until next time. Thank you.